Papa Tree, Chapter One: The Families on the Papa Tree. On the top of a hill, there was a giant tree that was home to the animals. Sammy the tree squirrel had a bushy tail and used it for balance. As he ran along tree branches, he was a great tree climber. He could make leaps from branch to branch. Ollie the owl was best known for his hooting calls. Ollie usually slept during the day and came out at night. Leo the lemur liked to hang out in the tree. He slept and found the food such as leaves, fruits, flowers, bark, and even insects in the tree. Scott the sloth loved to spend most of his time hanging belly up in the tree. He had super strong curved claws, powerful arms, and legs that were perfect for hanging onto branches. Mama Polly the possum also lived in the tree with her nine babies. The babies piled on top of their mom and rode piggyback. Charlie the chimp had a jolly soul. He got excited easily and liked to make a noise called a pant hoot. He built his comfy nest in the tree and loved to swing from branch to branch. Raccoon Rudy was very active. He was one of the few animals that can descend a tree head first. He was also the night guard because of his excellent night vision and keen hearing. The tree provided them both shelter and protection from the predators. The giant tree was the place the animals called home. They named it Papa Tree. In the spring, the animals would race up the tree to see who could climb up the treetop first. They collected flowers to make flower wreaths to decorate the tree. They would also have a picnic under the tree. In the summer, the animals would have a barbecue under the tree. They would peek under leaves, rocks, and logs to find some snails and have a snail race. They would use the big rock under the tree as their racetrack. During the cool summer night, they all laid in the big fork of the tree and counted the stars in the sky. In the fall, they would pile up the leaves that fell down from the tree and jump into them. In the cool autumn night, with the full moon in the sky, they liked to put on their costumes to go trick or treating. They also collected nuts and fruits for food and stored them in the tree trunk for the winter. In the winter, they would make snowmen and snow angels in the snow. Back in their cozy tree trunk, they would drink hot cocoa and play their favorite game, piling up the pine cones. The end. Thank you, reader, for reading this book, Papa Tree by Ashley.